Votes in President Trump's impeachment trial will be cast by North Carolina Senators Tom Tillis and Richard Burr. What you might not know is that North Carolina has not always had a say in prior impeachments. Tonight's local original, the reason behind that. Born and raised in North Carolina, Andrew Johnson would eventually move to Tennessee, becoming Abraham Lincoln's vice president and then president after Lincoln was assassinated. After dismissing his war secretary, Johnson was impeached by the House and tried by the Senate. But representatives of his native state would not vote for or against him. North Carolina had not yet been readmitted to the Union after the Civil War and had no representation in Washington. Johnson was acquitted by the Senate anyway. The vast majority of his accusers were hardcore, what they call radical Republicans, um, who uh, dis had always distrusted Johnson, who had kind of been a war Democrat. More than 100 years later, President Nixon faced impeachment. This time, the Tar Heel State was front and center as North Carolina Senator Sam Irvin chaired the Senate Watergate Committee. Which is very prominent. He becomes a household name across the country as people watch these things on television. Um, with his very sort of deliberative and kind of um, calm, traditionally sort of southern demeanor uh, becomes a real fixture um, of the, the, uh, the whole Watergate episode. Nixon resigned before he could be impeached. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Senator Jesse Helms said yes to the conviction of President Clinton. John Edwards said no. This was um, when Edwards was a, was a newbie. I mean, he was uh, fresh, the freshest freshman you could get, uh, having been elected in, in 1998. Um, right there, uh, thrust into the middle of it. While Edwards voted to acquit, he still called Clinton's conduct reprehensible. He went on to become John Kerry's running mate and was later accused of violating campaign contribution laws to cover up an extramarital affair. Now votes will be cast by Senator Richard Burr, who is not seeking re-election, and Tom Tillis, who is, and in time will know whether how he votes matters. What's going to happen between the end of the trial uh, and November 2020 that might look, make my vote look bad or good. It really is absolutely fascinating. When you think about the very first time we ever had an right. impeachment in the United States, North Carolina, no part in it because it was just after the Civil War, it's right? Wild. And then the second time, Sam Irvin, part of North Carolina's uh, representation in, in, in Washington, D.C., and he really helped bring down uh, President Nixon. Truly really fascinating From stuff there. one extreme to the other. Yep. yep. All right, thank you.